Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Thomas. Today we're back here with the Nostalgia Critic, and here with a two-parter, because, you know, it was that weird time in Nostalgia Critic's life, with The Happening from Am I Shamanon. Yeah. Basically, people are offing themselves in weird ways, and people are talking funny. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Did this before, but, um, don't remember how it happened, so. Again, I'll link both parts down below, go check them out. Let's just get this train wreck a rolling. I mean, it's Shyamalan, you know it's gonna be a train wreck. Why does everybody keep on hiring me? All of my work is shit. Oh uh, boy. <laughs> hey, Critic. Hey, Malcolm. Hey, Critic. Yeah, Malcolm. Did you know one third of the world's oranges are grown in Brazil? Huh? What an odd thing to say. Eh, uh -huh. I guess it's my quirk. Oranges. Oranges? Really? Okay, I'm gonna go shoot the review now. Wait for me. As you know, there are two hmm? types of people in this world. Those who believe that evil is good, and those who believe that evil is evil. Tamara, why are you what spewing are you that slimy, like unfocused that? philosophy? I hear you hmm? whispering. Plan what the on hell? stealing something? Why is nobody why is talking someone... right today? Plan on murdering I me in my sleep? What? No! Wait a minute. Wait, why is it happening to you? Now? Around 85% hey. of oranges are produced for juice. Oranges are domestic. As you know, the world is filled with people who do not understand the ramifications. Well, now that you're here, I might as well make you suffer, although I really don't know why. Oh, why's well, with the camera? Oranges are because juice kind of crazy. Wait, what? My God. What? What's wrong? This is. I know what's going on here. What? This is. The shamalizing. Shamalizing? now? Oh. That don't look good. A camera we can all get obnoxiously close to! As you know, I should have seen the warning signs. That was close. monotone acting, the dialogue that makes no sense whatsoever, and... Europe loving all of this for some reason! It's Europe, what do you expect? will be next. If I'm not careful, all of us could end up like the actors from The Happening! Here we go. Based on a title so lazily vague that the film really? does everything in happening? its power to justify it. There's something happening in a few states. Could this really be happening? Whatever's happening is happening population. Happening. 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 The Happening has garnered a reputation as one of the most entertainingly bad movies ever made. Like bad yeah, it's right good? Up there with or the room, just bad Troll 2 and give it time. For <laughs> years we've made references like, to this trailer, but have as never as given as it a full like review no. analyzing why it's so bad, it's actually kind of amazing. To each their own, as they say. So let's take a look to figure out what, how, and... and well, well Shyamalan, you expect. Shyamalan. This Here we go. is the, the happening. happening. Let's go. It starts off in New York, oh, New York, as two women do what Shyamalan thinks two women do, read a book at the same time. I forgot yeah. where I am. You're at the place where the killers meet to decide what to do with the crippled girl. <laughs> okay. Good thing I was reading the exact same sentence. As the crowd suddenly realizes they're on The Truman Show. There. Okay, that's a long spike. Oh. Well, that's what I would do if I found out I was in the happening. Harsh? Just down the street doesn't seem to be much Ooh, better. Speaking of which, Christ McKenzie fell. Oh no, not poor Christ McKenzie. Well, but it's, it's raining men as everybody's well, apparently committing up. suicide or having a hell of a time catching Roadrunners. This leads us to our main character, Elliot, played by Mark Wahlberg. Look, hey, I don't know if you guys have heard about this article in the New York Times about honeybees vanishing. If you have not burst out into <laughs> laughter yet from the mere delivery of that line, then you are watching the greatest drama you've ever seen in your life. Mm. No, seriously, where's the real performance? That can't be for real. Mark, you okay? That's scary, huh? I mean, this is Mark Wahlberg, a pretty damn good actor. But I'm not kidding, he does the whole performance like this. It's like really? he's on a 2 a.m. infomercial. Look, I don't know if you guys have heard about this article in the New York Times about honeybees vanishing. Scary, huh? right? Well, now you can track him down with our new honeybee tracker. Order now and you'll also receive a free Sam Wow. Sam Wow. As we quickly... Like, what? Well, Mark, okay. I feel like he's just reading these lines because he's got, like... <laughs> I know it's harsh, but... Jeez, it's like he's not even giving his all. Which, I mean, I guess with a shaman, even I wouldn't give it a whole 110%. But this is what I tried, at least. I'd be like, can we redo that? That didn't sound right. <laughs> I'm just saying. You'd think someone would have been like, oh, uh, <laughs> yikes. And I'm just saying, something you gotta retake, but... Guess not with Shyamalan, just first take always goes. Really, I know, but you expect anything less? Anywho. Discover he's not that great a teacher either. Chat boy. You don't hmm? have an opinion? Not really. You should be more interested in science, Jake. Hmm? You know why? 
it'll make Why? you talk like Luke Skywalker if his whininess levels were pushed to 20? Because your face <laughs> is perfect. Now, if you were interested in science, you would know facts like the human nose and ears grow a fraction of an inch each year. So a perfect balance of features now might not look so perfect five years from now. Take an interest in science. Yes. Take well, an interest in science in after I literally insulted your face. Hey, Susie, are you interested in science? Well, that's because you're a slut. Yikes. In typical Shyamalan style, Jake comes up with the laziest answer worded in a way that's trying to sound important. Here we go. An act of nature and will never fully understand it. And yeah. that's how you got a D in this class, kid. Nice answer, Jake. Oh, right, nice answer, Jake. And science will come up with some reason to put in the books. I mean, we will fail to acknowledge but that there are just, that work mm. beyond our understanding. Yeah, great science teacher there. Something, something, something magic. Like all great scholars, he acknowledges that science is just a temporary solution for the real answer, which is just shrugging your arm saying, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Pretty much. The Dark Lord. Don't look into her eyes. Ooh. Really? Vice Principal, what can we do for you? Well, you your resignation now! Oh, what do you think I'm gonna say after that? Yeah, so all the kidding. teachers are forced to abandon their waited, students. But, Typical protocol. As they're what? all gathered in one room to be told about the crisis sweeping America. Central Park was just hit by what seems to be a terrorist attack. It's some kind of airborne chemical toxin that's been released in and around the park. There appears to be an event happening. Okay, there it is that's again. a tragedy or an emergency. <laughs> an event is a sale at Target. You know, for teachers, you're not very good with yeah. words. No kidding. Central like, Park. That's an emergency. Hmm? That's kind of odd. Yeah, what do you terrorists not? rarely go after landmarks with lots of people. This means all the students are let out early. What are the rules of scientific investigation? Identify variables, design an experiment, careful observation and measurement, interpretation of experimental data. Jesus Christ, what? I don't forget to recite the first two chapters of Moby Dick! Dick. Call me Ishmael. Some years ago, never mind how long precisely, having little or no money in my purse. My mother just called my cell again. She's hysterical. So while Wilbur's friend, played by John Leguizamo, establishes his strange quirk, being his mother. I threw some figures at her. I told her the probability of something happening in Philadelphia is very low. Hey, you stand out now! We're introduced to Alma, played by Zoe Deschanel. I didn't say that. It's just talk, okay? Just relax, please. Oh no, we're sure. at the Shyamalan on stage where Critic, as you know, Here Jim and I have decided that we're in love, even though we have no chemistry at all. Whoop de doo. Whoop de doo. No, it's bad. We're having trouble in our relationship. We fear we'll never be a couple again. No, 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 no that's just the Shyamalan we're talking. He always has a couple that's going through problems, but is obviously gonna get together in the end. No, Critic. Yep. As you know, this is pretty serious. We're having some incredibly vague problems that only a supernatural event can fix. Oh, boy. You two be quiet! Oranges! Look, just stay in there, try yes. to use logic, and for the love of God, don't be quirky! But quirky no is quirky. charming. No, Jim, it's awkward! Awkward! There are 600 varieties of oranges! Oish. As you'd imagine, like Deschanel's acting in there. about They're as lost. as everyone else's, but there hmm. is a certain a alien eye, just... freakiness hmm. about her facial expressions. Yeah, she looks like this throughout the entire film. It's like in every shot she realized she shit her pants and she wants nobody to realize it. It's just a wide eye. Just... <laughs> yeah, that, see? <laughs> really? Oh. Uh oh. Her delivery isn't much better either. It makes you kill yourself. Just when you thought there couldn't be any more evil that could be invented. <laughs> How do you even direct somebody to say a line that way? All right, so yeah, I, mean, I want you to act like you're deaf, but in saying this line, you're hearing yourself for the first time and you don't enjoy what you sound like. It makes Action. you kill yourself. Just when you thought there couldn't be any more evil that could be invented. We'll work on that. That was definitely a thing. An attempt. <laughs> so Wahlberg said... Yeah, honestly, what was that? Again, no second takes? What the hell? You'd think someone would just be like... Uh, yeah. Well, let's retry that. <laughs> what? I think someone would double take that, but... Apparently not. Anywho. Says he'll meet Deschanel and Liguizamo at the train station. Where's Alma? Restroom. Hey, Julian. What the hell? Where'd you Why the hell did you shoot it like that? Were you trying to make her look like a stalker? Hey, Julian. Ah! I can't again. 
Sorry. Hey, Delma. How you doing? Hanging in there. Mm-hmm. Typical seven-year-old yeah. response. Hanging in there. there. Still looking for a job. Got those bills to pay. It's hard being a single mother. <laughs> so while on the train, they're being told that the panic is spreading. You okay? Well, they say Boston got hit too. Where'd you hear that? A friend from work. What about Yvette? Christ, that college girl who took theater as a blow-off class is acting better than you! Yeah, no the kidding. train stops suddenly as it looks like they're kicking everybody off. What why? do you mean? Where are we? Philbert, Pennsylvania. Does anybody know where that is? Hey, why would you just stop? You know, if you could take the whining of a dog and convert it into a language, it'd be this performance. She whispers to us when she gets scared. We're so much the same, she, look, she doesn't look scared. emotions either. <laughs> yeah, to quote Wahlberg from earlier. Duh. With a cat. Duh. Duh. And the danger still seems to be spreading as one man says farewell to arms in the lion's den. Mother of God, what kind of terrorists are these? They're such hairy and yellow terrorists. They must be from the land of Oz. <laughs> so everybody takes off as the virus seems to be right in their neighborhood, and Lake Wazamo decides to leave his daughter with Wahlberg so he can go back for his wife. Because things always She's turn out well for people who do that, right? She's gonna be a lot safer with you. I have to go. I got her, Julia. Don't take my daughter's hand unless you need it. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Why don't you find another couple to look after the daughter you're lovingly abandoning? You're welcome, asshole! Pretty much. Oh, there's bye, guys. Car. Oh, there's a... <laughs> Very really? good, Zoe. Now, can you tell Where's which one's the plane? <laughs> so Wahlberg's gang car. gets a ride with a guy who runs a plant nursery poorly located next to a nuclear power plant. Why do I get the feeling this is all streaming from there? Oh, Mr. Birds, I'm afraid I caused a happening. Simpson, you what idiot! You idiot? Now we're trapped in an unmatched uh, Shemalian uh, film. film. And not one of not the good ones. Good ones! Either of them. Either of them. <laughs> yeah. Collecting a few things before they go when this bit of strangeness is said. We're packing hot dogs for the road. You know, hot dogs get a bad rap. They what? got a cool shape, they got protein. You like hot dogs, right? D yeah. Brought okay. to you by hot dogs. Want to be less cautious about where your meat comes from than chicken and nuggets? Hot dogs! Hot dogs! I think I know what's causing this. You do? It's the plants. Wait, what? Really? It's the plants. The plants? They can release chemicals. Huh? Wow. That's really? actually the twist of the movie. It's Wait, plants. Really? The plants? I know it seems like I'm giving some stuff away early here, but the movie is yeah. giving some stuff away earlier here, so what do I care? Yeah, We're hell? not even one third into the film and you already gave away the big twist. You like hot dogs, don't you? D okay, shut up. Oh, by that. Seriously, who put that in? Do you need to go back to film 101? I think I most people know to. this. You They're don't give thing. away the twist before you give away the twist. You want open Citizen Kane with... It's a sled. It's kind of a no-brainer. Critic, oh, as you know, we oh, think God, we know what's caused the shambleization. Why? Okay, what? The walls. What? The walls? No, we're not doing that. As you know, we're it not... makes a lot of sense. If they use lead paint... No, even for no, a parody, not... we're not doing that. Don't no, have lead paint. just typically contain 10 segments. Maybe one of them contains shamalization. Fine, make a connection to that, but we're not doing goddamn walls! How are we supposed to make oranges the twist? I don't know if the freaking no. giving tree can be an antagonist in a movie! Why can't oranges? Now get cracking! You're the one shamalizing! You guys like oranges, right? Oh boy. Like, what? Like, this way to give it away, I guess, but still, what? Who does that, like, that fast in? What? You think they would've double-checked that, but apparently not, just said the plants were responsible. And also, huh? Is there like some, like, high plant council that decided to say, you know what, screw humanity, we don't need them anymore. Like, what? Am I missing something here? Like, I can remember. Much more. Well, anyway, back to the petting-inducing world this is of the happening. Let's just... Get back to it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, Leguizamo's gang is not doing very well as they come across a bunch of people who saw early screenings oh. of the movie. I'm gonna give you a math riddle, okay? And you're gonna tell me the answer. Why? It's quirky and weird, which to some writers equals brilliant and mind-blowing. I don't know. How much would you have if I said I would pay you a penny on the first day? and then two pennies on the second, and then four pennies on the third day, and I just kept doubling it, and I did this for a month. Oh, I 
know this one. It's screw you. Everybody hates math. We're all gonna die. We'll die. But he notices a hole which he could easily plug up, but doesn't, doesn't. as it causes them all to naturally go insane. My name's Luigi Mario. I'm a Puerto Rican Italian raised by a British Italian who's both my father and my brother. I'm fighting a germaphobe dinosaur who's turned Lance Hendrickson into a mushroom and thinks ordering a pizza is funny. Wahlberg's gang runs across a guy from the military who also isn't sure what direction to go. There's a town about eight miles behind us. There were bodies on the road into town. Shit. Cheese and crackers. Cheese and crackers now? What is with this thing of food? Were you hungry when you wrote this? Cheese and crackers, the... hot dogs, honeybees. Oh, was it sponsored by the Food Network? Uh -huh. But our weird Shyamalan one-shot reveals that other people are confused where to go as well. So they travel in one large group, but one woman gets a call from her daughter in Princeton. Tell, tell her not to go near the window with the tree. Just tell her. D baby, don't go near the window with the tree. Ask her if Princeton's been affected. Oh, ask her if she likes hot dogs. D Honey? Honey, you're talking funny. What's wrong with you? How can you tell? Nobody's acted normal in this movie since it was greenlit. Amen. So everybody tries to figure out where to go next. If we go west, we'll hit a county called Arendelle. Dirt roads, hardly anybody lives out there. They'll sing a song so much you'll want to stab your ears out with an ice pick, but aside from that, they're cool. <laughs> but something else in this movie is starting to blow. The my wind. firearm is my friend! Private Oster. Oster? Toaster strudel and syrup. My firearm is my friend. Oh, You're ketchup right. and hash browns, rat feces and Denny's. <laughs> oh! What do you know? The toxin? <sighs> Why oh, do you God. say things like you're on a kid show where the kids are supposed to answer back? Look, I don't know if you guys have heard about this article in the New York Times about honeybees vanishing. Um, no, not really. Sandra. Filbert, does anybody know where that is? It does. That's right. The toxin? Could what? Be. No. Jesus Christ. We need to do something. Just let me think. They're dying. I need a second. We can't just stand here as an uninvolved observer. I need a second. Oh, the what? Don't talk like that! This isn't no, no. how we act. This is how a computer thinks we act. We're uninvolved observers. Probability is very low. How should we react to dead people? A math problem! I think this was a joint writing team between HAL 9000 and GLaDOS. Tell us what to do! I need a second, okay? Why can't anybody give me a goddamn second? <sighs> I'd be scientific, douchebag. Okay, back away from the camera, guy. You're gonna blow yeah, yeah, snot okay. on the lens. Hey! What if it is the plant? Wait, oh, you mean that thing the we thing already said it was? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, NTM, what a twister! What a twister! Oh boy. They find their way into a model house where everything seems okay. to be fake, so naturally, considering their acting, they mistake props for human beings. My name is Elliot Moore. Ain't that a. Talk in a talking very positive manner. Yeah, this is happening, uh. people! They're just here to use the bathroom. How? Why did you do great at this? I hope that's okay. Albert. You okay? Until then, I hope you don't mind if we put these folks on our most wanted list. Nothing against your kind, but if there's anything we Americans like, it's racial profiling. <sighs> but another group of people are coming, so they run past this obvious metaphor, fearing that the group will become too big and they'll get infected. Though, again, the way they're talking, how can you tell they're not affected? You got kids? No. How come? You got a problem? She wanted to wait. You need to take, um... Uh personal responsibility for yourself in a relationship. Hey, that's not a toy. It's got meaning to me. So oh, the what? kids are talking about a meaningful relationship while the adult is whining to be given his toy ring back. Is Shyamalan dyslexic with age numbers? Does he constantly get them backwards? I feel like they so are. So after Zoe admits she had tiramisu with a guy late one night, and of course she mentions it was tiramisu because I just assumed not, this was all written at a buffet somewhere. Wahlberg decides he wants to confess something too. Jess needs a 10 minute rest and some food. We should keep going. And if we're gonna die, I want you to know something. What? I was in a pharmacy a while ago. There was a really good looking pharmacist behind the counter. Uh, so did you they're both just say you should keep going? This doesn't yeah, seem like the time go. for, you know, pharmacy store we'll confessions. I went up and I asked where the cough syrup was. I didn't even have a cough. And I almost bought it. Oh no. So they decide really? to drop by a house. 
Is there any way we could get some food? We have a little girl, we just want to get her some food. You best leave now. Come on, we're talking hot dogs, tiramisu, and cough syrup. We need some real yeah. conversations out here. You ain't gonna bring that poison gas in here with you. Sir, it's not poison gas. Even if there was, all your windows are open. Duh, yeah, pretty much. We're perfectly normal. So far. Oh, black water, keep on rolling. Mississippi moon, won't you keep on shining on me? See? See? We're normal. You are the laundry list of not normal. Everything you're doing is yeah. being written down in a book called How Not To Be not Normal. To be normal. There's literally a chapter called Seriously. I can't make this shit up. <laughs> so to stop the evil crazy gas from getting in, they do the same thing of shooting two little boys off their porch. Oh! Ooh. Oops. This was brought to you by... Goddamn. In the grand scheme of things, really no reason whatsoever. But yeah, what it's a little less about? awkward dialogue to listen to, eh? But don't worry, that void is filled by this crazy broad who lives in the next house they come across. I suppose the kind thing for me to do is to offer you supper. Well, yeah, that's what I'd do if a random stranger dropped by my place. Mm. Why are you eyeing my lemon drink? I ain't Nothing. gonna ask you again. Ask it again? Well, this place obviously seems safe as they spend go. the night but slowly realize she may not be all there herself. Yeah, there we go. I hear you whispering. Planning on stealing something? No, ma'am. Oh, no, ma'am, we wouldn't. Plan on murdering me in my sleep? What? What? No. no. <laughs> I'm not even that line delivery. What? It's brought so much joy and laughter from how famous it is that it'd be a sin to critique this scene. And we're gonna do anyway. But I'm gonna do this for shits and giggles. What? No. It needed to be done. Eh, fair well, enough. Did, but that's what makes it even better. <laughs> so the like, yeah, like, what? What's going on here? Like, even I'm still like, I say, oh, plants, so this one's gonna make you kill yourself. Like, what? I don't think plants can even do that. Like, even now, like, huh? Jeez, just gotta wonder how does Shyamalan come up with this shit? Like, seriously, like, it is allergic to water. Plants that apparently make you kill yourself. And, well, I'll cover Lady in the Water later, but you get the idea. Like, how does he come up with this stuff? Like, he still says water. What the hell is he smoking or just doing to make him think like, Oh, hey, we'll make the plants want to kill yourself. Like, what? Like, how does he come up with this shit? I swear. I want to smoke what he's smoking. What the fuck? Anyway. Lady seems to be acting nuttier and nuttier as, well... Oh, leave! Even go! Acting seems a little bit off. There's something happening in a few states. In this region, it's not safe. Hey, yeah. No! This isn't a crazy gesture. This is a Barbara Streisand singing performance. Oh. Actually, maybe a bigger connection than I thought. Hmm. But the tree mojo seems to affect her too, and for an old lady, her head's really got some weight to it. Man, you can smash a melon with that melon. Bug and Deschanel stay in separate buildings, but are able to communicate via a very convenient pipe that allows them to hear each other. It's too dangerous to go outside, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. This is the end, isn't it? Man, you're fast to give up. It hasn't even been two minutes yet, and already you're like, this is the end, this is the end. You know, movies can go past an hour and a half, though I'm begging you not to. Please no more. You remember our first date? You bought me the mood ring. Turned purple when you wore it. Then, then we checked the little paper chart and it turned out that purple meant I was horny. Always good to teach the kid new vocabulary words. Next talk about how you're putting together your bondage swing. Oh, and I swear, I'm not kidding. I actually timed this. They wait literally just three minutes before they decide they can't take it anymore and they go outside to die. Yeah, three minutes. They dragged the kid out there too. Man, Lake Lozano oh. should have been more specific with that demand. It should have been. Don't take my daughter's hand unless you mean it. What it should have been was. Don't wait the length of microwaving a burrito to sacrifice my daughter to tree demons. You'd think that go without saying. Pretty much. Should have been the length of microwaving a hot pocket. <laughs> but get this, it stops just at the point when they walk outside. Ha! 
Ow! I think. The actual surprise of this ending is kind of hard to follow. The name of the location pops up when it shows they're okay. Well, does that mean they were in a safe place the whole time? If so, why did that woman kill herself? I mean, what? sure she was crazy, but what are the chances she'd have the exact same craziness that makes you walk backwards and off yourself after doing so? Kind of a long shot. But then, just Pretty to make things more confusing, they say this! The event must have ended before we went out there. Well, wait, why wait, show so us the location that at that exact time then? What did it matter? What was the real answer of what happened here? Is this a clue where we're supposed to guess our twist ending? I don't and know. yes, by the way, that is the ending. It cuts to three months later, nobody has any idea how or why this all happened, but Deschanel is pregnant! Because that's what Yay? this was all about? How does that make any sense? How does any of this make any sense? It's like trying to figure out how Shyamalan keeps coming back in my reviews even though he keeps dying, right? Right. Right. God damn it! Get out of here, Shyamalan! In a moment, I want to see how my tropes are coming. Any new developments? Yes! As you know, Jim and I have solved our problems using symbolism. And my strange quirk is saving the day! And we did it all in one shot! What the? Uh-oh. Well then, it's time to reveal my big twist. Yeah, you already said, it's walls. No, it's actually something completely different. And that right. game? What is what it? What is it? It's... The walls. That's what you just said it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. it's a triple twist. You see, I said it was, then I said it's it wasn't. It's not even a twist at all! To reveal it was again. That's why I'm the king of twists. I've been to Zumba classes with better twists than that. Wait a minute, Amen. you guys aren't Shyamalan anymore? No, as you know, that twist was so lame that it snapped us out of it. Come on, let's oh, go Oh, good. Guys. Just when I was figuring out a way to tie it into oranges, too. Fine, go ahead and tell them not to see my movie, then. Actually, I wasn't going to. Really? Wait, what? You think it's a cinematic masterpiece? No, it's the no. dumbest thing I've seen in years, but it's very entertaining. Hmm. From the so? acting to the writing so to the bad directing, it's good. everything is completely wrong in this movie. But it's so okay. creatively it's wrong, like... it's impossible not to get a laugh out of it. The choices made are so strange and so scary unnatural and that it's one of the it. funniest unintentional comedies you could watch. So yes, I highly recommend it. Not as an awful drama, but as a hilarious comedy. It's guaranteed to get several laughs out of you. Depends how you look well, at it. Well, I guess I don't need to shamalize anybody then. Wait, I thought you said the wall shamalized everybody. No, that was a quadruple twist. I said it was, then said it wasn't, then said it was, now I'm saying it wasn't again. Make your mind but, up! Wait, if you didn't control everyone, who did? Who did? Oh. God damn orange. Oh, God. Sometimes with Shyamalan, you just gotta think, like, okay, how much of this bullshit can we take before we be like, we're done, we're out of here. <laughs> At that point, you just gotta be like, okay, can we just stop with the twists? Like, hey, Columba. Anyway, go check out both sides of this review down below, and just, I'm gonna need a minute to uh, digest the batshit shenanigans, whatever happened there. See ya.